Hi, I'm Alan Tatro with Global Sugar Art, and today I'd like to show you how to use the patchwork cutters to make butterflies. Marion Frost is the owner of Patchwork Cutters, and this line of products originates out of England. And she has a beautiful, beautiful line of many different types of cutters and embossers. Now, if you're using one of her products to emboss in a cake, you can cover the cake with a rolled fondant icing and emboss right into it beautifully. But if you're using one of the cutters to cut out a product, to make a small shape, you want to use Mexican paste. Um, Marion uh, advocates using Mexican paste with all her cutters and it really works the best. You can roll it very, very thin and it holds its shape very well. Fondant does not work well. We have a lot of customers that call in and say, I'm trying to make butterflies, I'm using rolled fondant or I'm using gum paste, and they stretch and they stick to the cutters and it's a problem. Use Mexican paste. Marion really, really, uh, it's all her instructions. The recipe for Mexican paste is in the package and we also sell Mexican paste on our website that's, that's ready to use. You just add water and, and you, make a, um, you make your own paste. So. We're going to start with a little piece of Mexican paste that I've colored gold here. I'm just going to take a little bit of shortening in my hand and knead this until it's nice and soft and pliable. And I'm using a cell board. Uh, the white cell boards have a very uh, non-porous surface and they're very smooth and they work very well for this. Now, when I'm using the butterfly cutters, the butterfly cutters, the outside edge cuts and the inside um, detail embosses. So the, the Mexican paste has to be just the right thickness so that it cuts clear through and then embosses all the inner design without cutting through it. So it's really important that the Mexican paste be exactly the right thickness. Now you certainly can roll this out by hand and, and achieve that. It takes a little bit of practice. I prefer to use the Atlas Pasta Machine because I get a very consistent result every time. And that's what I'm going to do this time. So notice I'm not using anything on the board right now. I'm not using any cornstarch or any sugar. So I'll roll this out. And I'm going to bring this down to about a number five. So that's pretty thin. Now I'm going to take a little bit of shortening and I'm going to cover my board with that. And I'm going to lay the paste on there and I'm just going to gently roll over that so that it sticks to the board. So what I'm trying to achieve here is, is I want the grip from the, uh, the paste to the board to be stronger than from the paste to the cutter so that when I cut this, it sticks to the board. That's what we're trying to achieve here. In other videos I've done, I've shown you that when you're cutting something to move in a circular motion to make sure you get a nice clean cut through. This is completely different this time. So take the butterfly cutter, put a little bit of shortening on your hands, and just lightly grease that cutter. Now I'm going to lay the cutter on there and I'm just going to press. And then I'm going to pop that off and notice that it's stuck to the board, which is what I want it to do. Now you don't have to grease the cutter every single time. You can do several butterflies and, uh, be between uh, 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 re-greasing the, the cutter. So you can cut as many as you want. So I've done four here. Okay, I'm going to cut a little piece off and I'm going to keep that because I'm going to show you a little trick that I've, that I've learned in my, my experience. So, now in order to get those butterflies out, I'm just going to cut the paste and I'm going to pull it away from the edges of the butterflies. I'm not going to grab the butterfly and yank it out. I'm going to pull the paste out from around them. But you can see by greasing the board and having the right thickness of paste, I get perfect butterflies every time. Now, this is my little trick that I like to do. I like to dry the butterflies and use them on cakes, obviously. But I also like to color them with a little bit of petal dust or luster dust um, or maybe super pearl dust. And in the process of coloring a dried butterfly, they can snap. They break very easily. So I've devised this little trick of just cutting a very, very, very thin uh, band of, of paste 
and then cutting it in little strips, just little segments, maybe about a half inch long. Now I'm going to take that butterfly, I'm going to flip it over. We'll do a couple of them here to show you. And I'm going to take a water brush and I'm going to put just a little, little dab of water right across the center. I'm going to take one of my little bands and I'm going to put them right across the back. And all that's doing is reinforcing that little area where the wings connect, where the butterflies tend to snap. And when I do this, I rarely, rarely get a butterfly that breaks on me. So from here, uh, there's two different ways of drying them. I have some white butterflies all made um, that I had done earlier. You can just take them. And notice how the Mexican paste holds its shape. Gum paste wouldn't do this. The, the Mexican paste dries very quickly and really holds its shape very, very well. So I'm going to lay those right in there. Now the other trick, if you don't have a little former, this former is made by Wilton. If you don't have one of these formers, it's back to grade school. Take a piece of paper and fan fold it. And then you can just lay these right inside the fan and they'll get a nice shape. When they're dry, and these will dry within maybe two hours, you have beautiful little butterflies. You can see how I did the back strap on this one. And they're ready to pearlize and use as decorations. Very, very easy to use. And the set comes with a beautiful large swallowtail, uh, some medium size, and then some very uh, tiny butterflies, also some uh, ladybugs, and uh, some bees. So it's a beautiful set. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.